Hello everybody, my name is Simon and today I'm going to be teaching you how to take photos like Pablo Picasso. In 1949, Albanian photographer John Milley was sent by Life magazine to photograph the creative genius Pablo Picasso. Pablo insisted to only give him 15 minutes of his time, but after seeing some of his works, he quickly changed his mind. The two of them together created some amazing photographs and guys, these photographs are unreal. First off, I want to say experimenting with lighting and trying new things is a great way to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Sometimes as photographers, we have a tendency to kind of have the tunnel vision. You get good at one thing and you stick to that. When in reality, the best way to expand and to grow is to try new things and challenge yourself. So hopefully with this demonstration, you can take this home and just play around with it, experiment with it. So what you're going to need for this is super simple. You're going to need your camera. You're going to need a tripod. Then you're going to need some sort of off camera flash. I use Godox. It's great. Some people use Profoto. Some people use Canon Nikon. It doesn't matter as long as it's an off camera flash. And with the off camera flash comes some sort of trigger. So you need something on your camera that can trigger your flash. And once you have those two things, all you're going to need is some sort of light. So like a camera phone light works, small flashlight, anything like that. Once you have these things, this is going to be super easy. But the most important thing is the tripod. You need to have your camera still. Basically what John Milley did is he used a technique called long exposure. When there's a delayed time between when the camera opens, the shutter opens and the shutter closes. So when you take a photo and you hear a ch -ch Basically what that is, is the shutter opening and the shutter closing, if that makes sense. So a long exposure is basically there's just a delayed time between when the shutter open and closes. So when you, what happens is when they, the shutter opens is recording all the light within that time. So when he's drawing, it's recording the light. I don't know if that makes sense. It's better to just kind of show you. Okay, let's get into this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to find a nice open space. So preferably somewhere where you can turn off the lights, somewhere that's open. If you have a blank wall, that's nice too. Just a nice space. After that, you're gonna wanna set up your tripod. Typically for these kind of shots, I like to use a wide angle lens just because uh, I'm usually taking these photos by myself, so it's really hard to get the perfect framing, but if I go wide, then I can always crop in. So yeah, use a wide angle lens, that would be my tip. So I like to use this little trick when I'm taking photos of myself. What I do is I put a chair in the place of where I'm gonna stand. Then I focus on the chair, put a little marker on the floor, and then when I take the chair out, I just stand by the marker. That way I have perfect focus every time I'm taking photos of myself. Since we're using a long exposure, which is a long shutter speed, we are gonna be letting in a lot of light. To contrast that extra light, we're gonna have to darken the image as much as possible. And the most easiest, obvious way is to turn off the lights in your physical space. After that, what you're gonna wanna do is to bring down your ISO, because as we know, the ISO controls the image sensitivity. So when you have a low ISO, the image is gonna be more dark. Another way to darken your image is to use your aperture. If you use a small aperture like F8 or F11, you'll be able to darken your image. Now that we have all our settings dialed in, make sure to put on your self timer, click the shutter, wait for the countdown, and then when the countdown gets to zero, take out your phone and draw with light. Draw whatever you want, this doesn't matter, just get creative and try to bring your own unique twist to it. Okay, now you know how to do a basic light painting, which is pretty cool. This is something you can definitely expand on and elaborate, get creative, use different kinds of lights, different colors, which is awesome. But how do we take this one step further? If we really take a look at John Millie's photos with Pablo Picasso, what you notice is he often used a strobe. And what I think the strobe does is it brings a little more character and definition to the subject and it brings the attention away from just the light painting onto the artist himself. So the easiest way to do this is to put the flash at a 45 degree angle behind the subject. Then you're going to want to raise your flash up in the air so it's pointing down at the subject. Now. 
After you have the flash there, you might have to try a little bit, experiment with the settings, the power settings, brighter, darker. There's no real hard and fast rule for this, just whatever looks good and your own personal taste and judgment. And this is gonna add an extra wow factor to your photo. All right, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If there's something that I left out and you want some more clarity on, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll get back to you. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much and just remember, never underestimate the difference that you make.